Hello everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel Essential Physiotherapy. In this video, we are going to have an overview of the cranial nerves. These are the 12 paths of cranial nerves. Starting with the introduction, cranial nerves are nerves that originate from the brain or brainstem. Each cranial nerve is paired and is present on both sides, that is on the right and left hemisphere. Cranial nerves are generally named according to their structure or function. There are 12 paths of cranial nerves and they are divided into three types. The sensory, motor and the mixed type. Getting into the first cranial nerve, olfactory nerve. Olfactory nerve is a sensory type nerve which has its origin from the cerebrum and it exits through the cribriform plate. The structure supplied is the nasal cavity and the function is olfaction or smell and the fibers carried are special visceral afferent fibers. The second cranial nerve is the optic nerve. Optic nerve is a sensory type nerve which has its origin from the retina and it exits through the optic canal. The structure is supplied rods and cons. They are the photoreceptors and the function is vision. Fibers carried by the optic nerve is special sensory afferent fibers. To the third cranial nerve that is the oculomotor nerve. Oculomotor nerve is a motor type nerve which has its origin from the midbrain and it exits through the superior orbital fissure. The structure supply are the extra ocular muscles like superior rectus, inferior rectus, medial rectus, inferior oblique, levator palpebrae superioris, sphincter pupillae and ciliaris. The function is to control eye and eyelid movements, pupil size and accommodation of the eye. Fibers carried are general somatic efferent fibers and general visceral efferent fibers. Next, the cranial nerve 4 that is the trochlear nerve. Trochlear nerve is a motor type nerve and it has its origin from the midbrain and it exits through the superior orbital fissure. The structure supplied by it is a specific extra ocular eye muscle which is known as superior oblique and its function is to control eye movements. The fibers carried are general somatic efferent fibers. The fifth cranial nerve is the trigeminal nerve. The trigeminal nerve is a mixed type nerve and it has its origin from the pons and is divided into three branches ophthalmic branch, maxillary branch and mandibular branch. The ophthalmic branch exits through the superior orbital fissure and the maxillary branch exits through the foramen rotundum and the mandibular branch exits through the foramen ovale. The structures supplied are the skin of the scalp, eyelids, conjunctiva, external ear, chin, jaw, nose, nasal cavity, oral cavity, Muscles of mastication, tensor tympani, tensor villi palatini, mucous membrane and anterior two-third of tongue. The function is to carry sensations of touch, pain, temperature, pressure and mastication. Fibers carried are special visceral afferent fibers and general somatic afferent fibers. Next, going into the cranial nerve 6, that is the abducens nerve. Abducens nerve is a motor type nerve which has its origin from the pons and it exits through the superior orbital fissure. The structure supplied by it is the re lateral rectus muscle which is responsible for the abduction of eye. The fibers carried are general somatic efferent fibers. The seventh cranial nerve is the facial nerve. Facial nerve is a mixed type nerve which has its origin from the pons and it exits through the internal aquastic meatus and stylomastoid foramen. The facial nerve is divided into five branches temporal branch, zygomatic branch, buccal branch, mandibular branch, and cervical branch. 
the structure supply the muscles of facial expression stapedius specific glands like lacrimal glands nasal glands palatine glands and anterior to third of tongue and ear function is to control muscles of facial expression lacrimation secretion carry touch pain and temperature from ear fibers carried somatic visceral efferent fibers general visceral efferent fibers special visceral afferent fibers and general sensory afferent fibers next getting into the eighth cranial nerve the vestibular cochlear nerve vestibular cochlear nerve is primarily a sensory nerve which has its origin from the pons and medulla junction it is divided into two branches vestibular branch and cochlear branch and it exits through the internal aquatic meatus structure supplied the vestibular branch supplies the vestibule semicircular canals and the cochlear branch supplies the cochlea function is to maintain the static equilibrium dynamic equilibrium and carry sound the fibers carried are special sensory afferent fibers next getting into the ninth cranial nerve which is the glossopharyngeal nerve glossopharyngeal nerve is a mixed type and it has its origin from the medulla oblongata and it exits through the jugular foramen the structure supplied are the stylopharyngeus muscle pharynx soft palate tonsils tongue ear parotid gland and the carotid branch function is to elevate pharynx carry touch pain and temperature from pharynx soft palate tonsils tongue ear and carry taste from the posterior one third of the tongue and maintains the partial pressure of carbon dioxide partial pressure of oxygen and the ph and blood pressure fibers carried are special visceral afferent fibers general visceral afferent fibers general sensory afferent fibers and general visceral efferent fibers going into the 10th cranial nerve which is the vagus nerve vagus nerve is a mixed type nerve and it has its origin from the medulla oblongata and exits through the jugular foramen the structure supplied by the vagus nerve is pharynx larynx heart thoracic viscera and abdominal viscera epiglottis ear soft palate and aortic bodies the function is it's a main parasympathetic nerve carries taste from epiglottis region of tongue control of muscles of pharynx and larynx and constriction of smooth muscles the fibers carried are general visceral efferent fibers special visceral efferent fibers general sensory afferent fibers special visceral efferent fibers and general visceral afferent fibers next going to the 11th cranial nerve which is the spinal accessory nerve spinal accessory nerve is a motor type nerve which has two parts of origin one is the cranial part which has its origin from the medulla oblongata and the spinal part which has its origin from the cervical spinal cord the cranial part exits through the jugular foramen and the spinal part exits through the foramen magnum and joins with the cranial part and exits through the jugular foramen the structure supplied is sternocleidomastoid and trapezius muscle and the muscles of pharynx and soft palate function is to flexion of neck contralateral head rotation elevation and retraction of muscle fibers carried a general somatic efferent fibers and special visceral efferent fibers to the last cranial nerve that is the 12th cranial nerve hypoglossal nerve hypoglossal nerve is a pure motor nerve and has its origin from the medulla oblongata and it exits through the hypoglossal canal the structure supplied by the hypoglossal nerve is extrinsic and intrinsic muscles of tongue its function is to change the shape of the tongue elevate protract and retract the tongue fibers carried are general somatic efferent fibers please like and share our videos and drop your valuable comments in the comment box and 
please subscribe our channel thank you